Tired of frame drops in your games and graphics that look like they're from the 90s? Well, it might be time for a GPU upgrade. And if you're just looking to play demanding games with peace without going full gear, 1080p is totally your sweet spot. So in today's video, we'll look into the five best GPUs for 1080p gaming that'll transform your gaming experience from just okay to mind-blowing. So let's head in. First, we have the Intel Arc A750. Now, I know what you're thinking. Intel graphics cards? Doesn't that make gamers laugh? Well, I'll say the Arc A750 is here to change that narrative completely. Sporting 8GB of GDDR6 memory and Intel's XCSS upscaling technology, the A750 brings some seriously modern features to the table. Where most budget cards struggle, the A750 confidently steps up. Take its decent fist of ray tracing at 1080p, for example, which AMD's budget offering absolutely can't match. Now, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. The card does have some quirks that might make hardcore gamers raise an eyebrow. You'll need a system with resizable bar or smart access memory to truly unlock its potential. Performance can be a bit inconsistent across different game titles too, which means your mileage might vary. But remember the kicker, it's incredibly affordable and surprisingly quiet. We're talking near silent operations that'll make even some NVIDIA models envious. However, its power consumption is also slightly higher than you might expect, and temperatures can climb a bit. Still, for gamers on a budget who want something different from the AMD and NVIDIA duopoly, the Intel Arc A750 represents a bold, exciting alternative that's worth serious consideration. Next, we have the AMD Radeon RX 6600, a graphics card proving you don't need to pay hard for an exceptional gaming experience. With 8GB of GDDR6 memory and AMD's rock-solid RDNA 2 architecture, this little powerhouse is the perfect example of bang-for-your-buck performance. I say that because the RX 6600 is downright impressive at 1080p, thanks to the FidelityFX Super Resolution. It runs most modern games at ultra settings with 60 to 90 FPS, which is exceptional at this price point. And its compact size means it'll fit into almost any build. And the power efficiency is nothing short of remarkable. Now, I'm not saying it's perfect. The ray tracing performance is, well, let's be kind and say limited. While newer AMD cards have made significant strides in this department, the RX 6600 feels like it's playing catch up. Some of the most demanding AAA titles might make this card break a slight sweat, especially if you're pushing every single graphics setting to the max. But let's not forget that in a market where GPU prices can make your wallet cry, this card still offers a refreshingly affordable path to high-quality gaming. It's the Toyota Corolla of graphics cards. Reliable, efficient, and won't require you to take out a second mortgage. At number three, we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060, which pretty much redefines what you think a mid-range GPU can do. After all, it brings some of NVIDIA's most advanced features to the masses. Specs-wise, its 8GB of GDDR6 memory meets the cutting-edge Ada Lovelace architecture. And that means this card doesn't just play games. It performs magical frame rate tricks on every gameplay. We're talking about consistent 80+, and in some cases, nearly 100 average frame rates that competitive gamers dream about. NVIDIA's DLSS 3 is actually the real star here, which can effectively double or even triple your frame rates in supported games, turning good performance into extraordinary performance with all the power you need. Talking of power, the RTX 4060 is significantly more power efficient compared to its predecessor, the RTX 3060, which means less heat, less noise, and more pure gaming joy. It's not without limitations, though. That 8GB of VRAM might feel a bit cramped in some of the latest and most graphically demanding titles, especially as games continue to push visual boundaries. It's also priced higher than some AMD alternatives, which might make budget-conscious gamers think twice. Yet, for gamers who want cutting-edge technology, exceptional 1080p, and even decent 1440p performance, and the reliability of the NVIDIA ecosystem, the RTX 4060 is an absolute beast. Next, we have our runner-up, the RX 7600 XT. AMD's latest weapon to shake up the GPU market. This graphics card isn't just an incremental upgrade, it's a full-blown performance revolution. Boasting 16GB of GDDR6 memory and built on the advanced RDNA 3 architecture, the RX 7600 XT comes with some seriously impressive tricks up its sleeve. Performance-wise, this card is a 1080p gaming monster with 60-plus frames per second at high settings across most modern titles, and it often surprises you with an average of 100-plus FPS at full 
HD on certain games. And I must say that butter smooth performance makes it a no-brainer pick for those 144Hz monitors. Besides, that massive 16GB of VRAM topped off with FidelityFX Super Resolution means you're future-proofed for upcoming games that are becoming increasingly memory-hungry. The dual BIOS is also a particularly nice touch. Want the silent operation? Flip one switch. Want to squeeze every last drop of performance? Flip the other. It's like having a sports car with both a comfortable cruise mode and a tear-up-the-racetrack mode. The power consumption is relatively high, though, drawing nearly 200 watts. While this might make some power efficiency enthusiasts wince, it translates directly into raw gaming performance. So whether you're an AMD diehard or just want insane performance for your money, the 7600 XT is absolutely worth considering for brilliant 1080p gaming. And finally, it's time for the crown jewel of 1080p gaming, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070, a gaming revolution wrapped in silicon and pure performance. With 12GB of lightning-fast GDDR6X memory and the incredible Ada Lovelace architecture, the RTX 4070 laughs in the face of demanding games. We're talking about a GPU that averages between 100 and 130 FPS at 1080p gaming. That means it doesn't just meet AAA game requirements, it pretty much obliterates them. Its DLSS 3 frame generation takes performance to another dimension entirely. Games that would make lesser cards whimper are transformed into buttery smooth, high frame rate experiences. It's significantly more powerful than the RTX 3080, which it effectively replaced, offering better value and drastically improved efficiency. Besides, the 1080p ray tracing effectively puts the RTX 4070 on equal footing with some top-tier AMD cards, like the RX 7900 XT. Now, is it overkill for 1080p? Well, maybe. But who doesn't want a Ferrari when they're used to driving a bicycle? If you only have a 1080p monitor, the RTX 4070 might be borderline overkill in rasterization games, while for complex ray tracing games, it's basically the minimum you'd want for a consistent 60fps without upscaling. Now, the power consumption is definitely high, and the price point means it's more of an investment than a casual purchase. But for gamers who won't compromise on top-tier performance and are looking towards future-proofing their system, the RTX 4070 is undoubtedly the holy grail. Thanks for sticking around. For more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the channel. Click the bell icon too so you'll get notified every time we drop a new video at FlexiViews.